gasoline fires at the last minute. Coming right out of the The situation in California is the result of a really intense, record shattering heat wave that has gripped the region for well over a week, coupled with a relatively dry stretch of weather. I mean, they're in their dry season right now. So you get the heat, which dries things out even more. And then they had strong winds uh, over the past uh, couple of days. Then there was this other factor, which you don't normally see in Northern and Central California, which is a barrage of thunderstorms. There was lightning striking in San Francisco. It was quite gorgeous, but really unsettling for people who live there. So the big main fires are around the San Francisco Bay Area. The Napa area is affected. Sonoma Valley is affected. Regions southwest of Sacramento. Uh, but it's not isolated. Um, this is really a central and northern California event. Uh, some fire activity has been going on in Southern California as well. Um, it's not, you know, one or two big fires. We're talking about fire complexes. The thing that this has in common with previous wildfires that people may remember, such as the Santa Rosa, Napa Valley, Sonoma fires that uh, were turned deadly, uh, as well as the Paradise Fire, which was the deadliest in state history. These fires have been fast moving. These fires have been... Uh, explosively developing. They have exhibited extreme fire behavior. Firefighters have resorted to mostly uh, trying to get people out of the way rather than really beating the flames back. When I say extreme fire behavior, I mean, you know, everything from making their own weather and causing thunderstorms on their own to, to actually forming fire tornadoes and not just one fire tornado, but five around five of them. Um, so Nothing about that about these fires is tame, but they're not necessarily, thankfully, so far, causing the fatalities and injuries that past fires have had over the past couple of years. But they're also, you know, very dangerous and fast moving. Coming down the street, the first house was on fire, and then my neighbor's house was on fire, and it was gone. And I was thought for sure mine was gone, but it, it's not. And it's, it's God bless. This is obviously like any disaster in the United States right now. This is hitting during the time of the pandemic. And California has been quite hard hit by the pandemic uh, in the last couple of months, especially. So uh, emergency officials are having to take that into account. Um, and there's uh, some risks here because there are firefighters now coming into California from all over the United States. Um, and they're obviously these fires uh, side by side, uh, you know, that it is outdoors, uh, which is a lower risk and they have protective equipment, but that's still a concern. And then for people who are fleeing fires at the last minute, you know, if they're going to shelters that are indoors, they have to provide for uh, social distancing and giving out PPE. So, you know, masks and that sort of thing. Um, but a lot of the a lot of the way that this is being done is that people are going to staging areas away from the front line of flames, and uh, those are usually outdoors. So that lowers the risk of uh, some sort of COVID transmission. I'm Andrew Friedman. I'm the deputy weather editor for the Capital Weather Gang at the Washington Post. I cover climate change and extreme weather events. And uh, please go to WashingtonPost.com to see all of our continuing coverage of this event. Yeah. BNH is here. From our house to yours, as your collaborators, creative partners, and problem solvers. We're explicitly out of all the best ways to do this, but I've been working erecting 5G masks on towers like the one behind me for the past few weeks. While it Everybody else has been in lockdown. And we don't crack open these kits because we're explicitly asked not not to. But well, our best... Perhaps the best thing is for me to show you. It's best if I just show you, look. 
It's a piece of fucking 5G kit, and it says COVID-19 on it. I don't really know of any products produced by any company that produces circuitry like this that, that has the brand name COVID-19, but that's what it says on the fucking circuit board. Not on the fucking conspiracy theory, it's obviously read all that stuff. The New World Order. Population reduction. There will be a global population reduction until there are only 500 million people there. How would they reduce the population? We're not stupid. Hitler said, the bigger the lie, the more the people will believe it. I think it will be done Hitler style. The armed forces are going to kill us. They'll follow orders. It's what they've been trained to do. They're being taught to be racist. The army are already killing people in other countries. People in power are using fear to fuel the racism. How long before they use this racism to make soldiers turn on their own? Mass genocide on a scale I've never seen before. There are a mass of ways they could introduce population slaughter. More staged events, orchestrated and maneuvered conflicts, and the use of bioengineered diseases. Vaccines in vaccines. In the event that I am reincarnated, I'd like to come back as a deadly virus. So it's a contribute to solving overpopulation. It's really good that. Perhaps the best thing is for me to show you. It's best if I just show you, look. It's a piece of fucking 5G kit and it says COVID-19 on it.